Guys, Jean has always been a main character. We're at the end of Volume 8 now. Granted, this is probably the volume with the least amount of Jean's screen time, but complaining about his status at this point is kinda silly. This is my review for Ruby Volume 8 Episode 14. If you haven't seen the episode yet, you may want to before watching this review. This is the first episode I've ever had the pleasure of reviewing that I can call devastatingly good. It's not the best episode I've reviewed. For my taste, I'd rather have a Kuro Yuri, Gravity, or pretty much anything from the first half of Volume 6. There's two reasons I've been against the edgelords who want the heroes to completely lose. First and foremost, I'm not an edgy twat. Secondly, we kinda already had that in Volume 3. Any repeat of that is just going to feel like a rehash and not manage to have anywhere near the impact. There's a law of diminishing returns with darkness and even Game of Thrones stopped killing major characters after a while and saved the last few prominent deaths for the final season. Aesthetically, this is darker than Volume 3. Jean had to finish Penny off and we see actual blood on his sword. But it's not as hopeless as Volume 3 made things seem. The people are safe, we know Team Ruby and those that fell are going to be fine, and while this death feels like it's going to be permanent, Penny had a lot more freedom to choose her fate than Pyrrha seemed to. The rest of the episode is fine and in some places even great. All the stuff with Cinder looks amazing. The other skirmishes look a lot more sluggish. Cinder's a cunt for doing Watch Dirty like that and it does cheapen her development a bit. It's more understandable why she kicked Neo. Neo had threatened her and helping her in that moment could also end up helping Ruby. The Crow stuff and the Ironwood stuff looked a lot sloppier. Winter's criticism of Ironwood is a bit half-baked. She stops her tirade at the restrictions and doesn't even bring up the proposed genocide. And we did get to see Atlas falling, which was on my wish list for the saga. The villains had the ranks thinned out, but now they have two relics. All that's left is to wait for Volume 9 to start. I'm Mediocrity 4, and I'm ready for this break.